Greetings, and welcome to the Crafty Gamer, where we're going to play uh, Biomenace. Really old DOS game, <laughs> released in 92, I think, by Apogee. Um, I think Apogee released it. I'm, uh, yeah, Apogee released this game, and I think it was released in 92. Uh, this game is not shareware. Uh, in fact, I'm pretty sure Apogee has abandoned this game. Uh, but this is Biomenace Episode 1, Dr. Mangle's Lab. Uh, and uh, that is some kind of scary looking cover art for back in the day. So, let's load the control panel. Uh, we'll configure everything. Yeah, that looks good. Music is nice to have. Yeah, we'll, we'll okay. Uh, we'll do a new game. Do one on normal just for a change. Doing one on normal clears out those stupid dialogue boxes that pop up. I just picked up grenades. You can do this with them. Uh, that's a key. You can open locked doors with those. Pretty straightforward. That purple blob will. Oh, I have an automatic weapon. Okay. If you have an automatic weapon, then you can just hold down the fire button and Jake Stone. No. That's the last game. Uh, Snake is this character's name. Uh, thinking about too much about my Solar Winds thing that I just did, I guess. Uh, Snake rhymes with Jake. Jake the Snake, I guess. Uh, Snake uh, will just keep firing away. Um, that couldn't have done. That couldn't have done worse on that. Um, when he has uh, the automatic gun. If he doesn't, he'll just fire one bullet. You gotta keep pressing the fire button. It's it's not a good time. Especially considering some of the enemies you deal with in this game. Uh, this is an electric shield. If you touch it, it's instant death. It does not matter how many hit points you have. So, uh, don't touch. What's interesting is that the monsters... Even if they have their backs turned, if you go up to their eye level, they turn back. It's kind of funny to see, actually. And sometimes you can get two uh, monsters with one grenade, which is nice. No injuries today. And for many, many, many weeks, I was stuck on this first level. This was such a cool game. How can I get past the first level? I can't find anything. What's going on here? Uh, well, what was going on? That's a beacon, by the way. Um, so you can use the beacon, if you die, to return to the spot where you saved the, at the beacon. Um, but what was... Ooh. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna kill those purple blobs and then I'll explain what was going on. Okay, uh, so uh, this switch activates a platform. What was going on was that it didn't occur to me to try to enter these smashed out windows. Once I figured out that you could do that, I think it was an accidental discovery in my part. Uh, this is a hidden area. Ooh, plasma bolts, that's nice. Uh, oh, red grenades are better than green grenades, and once I get to an area I can show them off, I'll show you why, but uh, that's the shard. Uh, you can use that to disable a force field. Uh, and I'll show you what the plasma bolts do, because they're nice. Ooh, one hit and he's gone. I don't want to pick that up. Okay, there's no fall damage, so you can fall as high as you want. You're going to be okay, as long as there's no spikes. This is what the red grenade does. It, it's like a fragmentation unit. It just goes on and on and on. Uh, no secrets on this side of the wall, so... We'll just open these doors, collect these items, get some points. Ooh, he not having a good day. Um, so the plot of this game is that... Uh, an evil force has released mutants upon the city. And, uh... As a result, most people are dead, buildings are destroyed... All the usual pre-apocalyptic stuff that you would see in a genre such as this. We're going to rescue this hostage. 
Somewhere in each level, there is someone like me who holds a key to each exit. You must find them. Thanks for the key. Thanks for the key? I think he meant tip. Oh, no. He does mean key. Because he gives you the key to open the end level uh, force field. I'll use this to go on to the next level and rescue your friends. I'll get a couple of more red grenades for a treble. The only thing I'm not a fan of in terms of the grenades is that you can't switch between grenade types. You have to use your red grenades before you can use your green ones, and I missed that jump. Oops, I did not mean to shoot that. What is going on here? Uh, okay, for some reason he wanted to go to the right for... He was determined to go to the right. And, uh... Something really wonky going on here. Uh, let's go here. Okay, I think it's fixed now? I don't know what that was about. It went full screen on me for some reason. And I lost a lot of frames as a result, and then everything's fine. I want to stand on this box. There we go. So I can get him. Uh, this first level is fairly easy once you know you can go through the broken windows. Uh, it does not get any easier than this. Uh, even the cops are dead. Like, it's, yeah, that's not a good sign. <laughs> You can save a little time by like jumping up the ladder. Uh, that switch we activated earlier. No, oh, that's nice. Oh, we'll, we'll get the super bullets, I guess. Uh, these do five times the damage of regular bullets. Uh, you saw up there another another machine gun. Machine guns will stack. Um, so. You know, once you run out of one machine gun, we'll automatically use the next one. That was really weird when it did that to my screen. Um, because I'm actually using candlelight right now, and I thought the power went out. Because <laughs> the sound stopped, and everything stopped, and the screens went black. <laughs> yeah, it was a power outage, all right. <laughs> um, so that switch opened up this bridge here. And he's gone. take that we'll take the first aid kit which restores us to four hit points and that's it because that's all you get in normal mode easy mode gives you eight this level is considerably harder but they get worse than this uh, these guys are just a pain in the neck they're better off just avoided those rockets will wait till you get close and then jump at you and you cannot shoot them with regular bullets uh-oh Okay. Um, those guys are pretty good jumpers, but sometimes they'll jump and fall on top of you if you stand in the gap, so don't do that. This level is pretty... Um, no, I thought I would get it in time. This level is pretty top-down, and it will generally give you keys as you climb so that you're never out of keys or anything like that. But there's trip, uh, there's surprises here, and that's one of them. That dude firing plasma bolts at you. He's now let's get rid of this rocket down here first. Ah, I didn't get him. Okay, so he's right there. He was hiding behind the uh, the box. Oh, did not mean to throw the grenade. Uh, oh, this tells you what your score looks like. I'm at thirty six thousand six hundred points right now. I have three keys that I could use. I have one clip, which means my current machine gun clip. I have 39 gems. At 50 gems, I get an extra life. I also get an extra life at 40,000 points. I think once I get there, it doubles to 80,000 points to the next life. But we'll find out when we get there. We're gonna get there pretty quick by the looks of it. Uh-oh. That could have gone worse. <laughs> Did I get him? No, I did not. 
I'm gonna wait for the red guy to go back. I got him that time. Okay. Plasma bolts. That's what we're about. Uh-oh. Ah. Uh, with plasma bolts, you can get the rockets and you can get those stupid red guys, so... Oh, there's two of them now. Ah! I don't want to drop back down there. I'm not going to waste my bullets on those guys. I only have 17 bolts. I am not wasting them on those guys. Same with these guys now that I know I have grenades. But I will get rid of them just because that'll make my life a bit easier. And I don't know if you saw it, but uh, the rocket actually turned to my direction. Oh, go away. Really? Ugh. It's hard to aim sometimes with this, too. Like, oh, I'm out of grenades. And I have to do that. Um, <clears throat> but that rocket actually turned towards me as I leapt up there. They are a bit uh, sentient. I have two hit points. I really don't want to go. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Oh, there's a first aid kit down there. I can grab that. I usually leave the first aid kit behind, but uh, I needed it this time, so... I got the extra life, yeah, now I need to get to 80,000 for the extra life. Plasma bolts, unlike machine gun clips, do not stack. See, this rocket turned towards me again. Oh, and I got the extra life from the 50th gem, that's always nice too. So I'm gonna wait until I'm just about out of plasma bolts and then I'll collect that item. Oh, okay. Okay, at least I have this thing now. The the beacon. Just about out of... Oh. Okay, now I'm out of plasma rounds. Then it, it's just as a dash. If I shoot again, I'm pretty sure it's just my machine gun clip. Yeah. So we'll... Oh, it's down here. We'll go pick this up. Uh, and then... You saw what looked like a disembodied head that's grinning and it looks evil. It's actually a good guy. Uh, this is RoboBuddy. And he's nice to have around. Because, as you noticed, he actually shoots when you do. And he will keep doing that until you lose a hit point. And his rockets sound cool when they explode. And see, those rockets will jump and get you when you get too close. We don't want to get too close to that guy. Uh, again, plasma bolts do not stack. Okay, we got the dude. One up in there? Interesting. Unless I got the points. No, nowhere close to the points yet. Okay. Another plasma bolt. Again, they don't stack, so I'm not grabbing it. Don't want to pick up the first aid kit yet. Oh. Ah. Oh. Mm, that was a bit of a low blow. Oh, I'm out of plasma rounds? Okay. I'll, uh... I'll go back, because there's a first aid kit I want to grab, too. This one. I thought I actually left some plasma rounds intact further back. I guess I didn't. Not a big deal. You. Dr. Mangle has captured others like me. He said it would be a trail for you to follow so that you could find him and meet your final fate. Be careful. 
I'm gonna dust that little dweeb. He can't do this and escape. That's 5,000 points to rescue the hostage. Uh, we will go into level three. This is where it starts to get challenging. I do kind of expect to die once or twice. I have seven lives. I'm not too concerned about that. But the real kicker is those eight grenades and 14 plasma rounds and like three machine gun clips, they all reset when I step through. Yeah. And without automatic weapons, it's just a pain. So what I like to do is, I it's been a while since I played this game. I don't know where anything is anymore. Um, I like to go through and clear out the enemies on the ground. Uh, this level is one big room. And they give you depth. Uh, I don't know what I picked. Oh, landmines. I got landmines. Mines are kind of nice. I would have preferred grenades, but I'll take mines. Um, yeah, this is one big room. So there's like no, no secrets or anything to help you get or anything. What I like to do is get to the top of this uh, tree. Uh, mm, getting this dude's gonna be a pain. Uh, might not be possible. Oh, it is possible. Never mind. Oh! I'm playing more cautiously than normal. Because if I get up here... Hmm. I'm going to have to take the hit, I think. Now that is invincibility. That is a very nice find. I'm going to grab that and just bolt to the end. Oh, I didn't want to pick that up. But I will take the beacon. Oh. Uh, it's more landmines. I may as well take those. I don't want that first aid kit. Yes, okay. Thank you, sir. I can't believe what has happened to our beautiful city. They've destroyed everything. Please, you have to stop them. Yeah, it's really a pile. I'll do my best to clear these mutants out of here. Mangle won't succeed. Oops, I did not mean to press that. But yeah, there was no shield that time. Uh, I'm just gonna get out of here. There is a secret level gem in that level. I don't know where it is, and I don't think it's worth going to look for at this point. Um, so you can... You can attack this guy. The trouble is, when he's a flame. Uh oh. The trouble is, when he's a flame like that, he's invincible. You're, you're never gonna get him that way. Unless you have plasma bolts. Um, you see that slime crawling around on the upper right portion of the screen? He's a pain in the neck, too. But he doesn't occur as much in this level as he does in the next one, and you'll see why when we get to the next one. Ah, oh, I love taking those slimes out with those grenades. There's a very satisfying feeling to that. <clears throat> I, I like to clear the areas up here first. Oh, I shouldn't. Should. Yes, okay. Oh. I should have cleared him up first. That's how you do that. So, this is a... Uh, a it's a lock, basically. Um, you have one opportunity to open it. If you open it in the wrong order... You cannot open the log, you will also drop down onto those spikes, and you will die. 
So you want to make sure that you have the order correct before you attempt this. We have not seen the color code in the level. Um, it's usually hidden somewhere else, and by hidden, I mean it's away somewhere, not necessarily hidden. In fact, I think it's down here. Yeah, there it is. One of these walls is like a secret, but I don't know which one offhand. Maybe it's not a wall, maybe it's... Uh, no, there's something around here that's kind of hidden and out of the way. Oh, it's this one, I think. Yeah. Oh, plasma rounds. Mines. All right. We're in the business now. Oh, I should probably remember this color combination. Red, pink, dark blue green, light blue. Um, I find it's easier to just try to remember, like, single word names. So I'll just read it as red, pink, dark, green, light. Red, pink, dark, green, light. I'll say it to myself several times. Red, pink, dark, green, light. So red, pink, dark, green, light. And that unlocks this. Um, I'm actually pretty happy with the plasma bolts. I'm going to keep those until I run out, and then I'll come back for the super bullets. Mines can't be used to throw at anybody. And I can't swap them up for grenades either. Uh, oops, I meant to shoot. Uh, one of these will shoot. There we go. <laughs> uh, so I'll shoot instead. I don't know that there's anything up there that I need, but I may as well check it out. I did not mean to jump there, so I'm actually kind of surprised that I shot the rocket. Ah, keys. I definitely need these. I think I've gotten everything I need there and there. So we'll go here next. These gray things are just a nuisance, really, but they're they're not the big nuisance in this game, really. There's definitely bigger nuisances than them. And is there anywhere in the building down here? No. Okay. Oh, he got me. I didn't think he would get me, but he got me. I could try to get him, but mines are kind of nice to have, and that's the only way I'm getting him without using plasma bolts, which are also nice to have. I do not have that. Let's see what- oops. Okay, let's try to see what the mines do. Okay. I got just in time if you looked up at the top of the screen. Uh, mines can destroy enemies that other weapons can't destroy as readily, so... Uh, but you gotta wait for the enemy to get there. Luckily, in this game, enemies are not intelligent. Uh, so they will happily walk into a mine, even if they watch you plant it. They really have no problems doing that at all. that we'll probably never get to use, and I'm not sure why this is here, um, aside from the fact that it impedes your way back and makes you go back through this maze-like area. I call it maze-like because it's not a real maze, but it, there's, there's elements in common with the maze, I guess. Hey, be careful, buddy. These buildings are, excuse the pun, crawling with, like, these weird creature things, man. Hey, wow, what a cool gun. Can I try it out? Nah, you'd probably shoot your foot off or something. You better get out of here before the mutants come creeping back this way.
Now, if you... Yeah, these will fall. And if you get... If you have the misfortune of being stuck under one when it lands on top of you, it's instant death. It does not matter how many hit points you have. Ooh, that was close. Uh, you can also stand on top of them, which comes into play later. Um... I don't think my chances of dying are that great right now. So I don't want to trip that beacon. Or the, uh... Uh-oh. Okay, well now my chances just went up. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Get out of here. <laughs> this ain't good! <laughs> now we'll go and collect the stuff. I should have laid a mine down. Like, why didn't I do that? Okay. Uh, you... Brr, I hate you. You've cost me, like, five hit points! Ah! Oh, six now. Well, now I don't like my chances. Oh, I forgot. There's there's an item down there. Uh, oh! I thought I blew that. Okay. You know what? I, uh... I think... I think we better... <laughs> Get rid of our mines so we can use grenades at this point. Oop. Not waste them, though. Okay. So, this is a bit of a jump. Ah, that I just barely missed. Oh, I didn't think it went down that far. It's an easy jump. <laughs> Never mind. I thought it was a bit of a jump. Um, yeah, just gotta be patient. I can make this no problem. around with 50,000 points, and I'm almost at the next extra life. Um, I think I did leave a first aid kit behind. Much as I like the plasma bolts, I need the first aid kit. So I'm gonna go grab that. Um, much like Solar Winds, I actually played this game for the first time back in the summer of 96 too. I was trying not to collect the super bullets, but yeah, it's okay. Um, and like I say, for the longest time, I couldn't get past the first level because it never occurred to me to press up by a broken window to try to get in. Never opened this door, huh? Open it now. Uh huh. I uh, thought somebody like you would be here. So this can get your way if we can. Uh, really? That's kind of a disappointment. <laughs> I'm just gonna get out of here. I'm cutting my losses. I'm getting out of here. Although it will not let you take the bullets with you, it does let you take your health with you. So I go into this with three hit points. Um, the water in the sewers too hides the floor and those green slime things that those guys spew out. Uh, they will stick around a bit and hurt you. I really want to save my plasma bolts, so I'm going to do that. Uh... Did him in? Uh, I knew it. Oh, 
we'll go back and get this first aid kit now. Because there's no do-overs if you die. <laughs> you get sent back to the start. Uh, it pays to know how many hits with each weapon it takes to get rid of somebody. Uh, plasma bolt hits, it takes three rounds to get rid of one of those big slimy things. There's one up here as well. I think snakes guard it? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, really? Alright. We'll, uh, we'll take those grenades. We'll, uh, we'll leave the health for now. I'm probably going to need it sort of soon, though. Sorry, but we're gonna have to wait for these guys to clear out a bit. I'm not sure why these uh, things are spewing out flames. It's just the nature of the beast, I guess. Well, now I will go back and uh, get that health kit. Because apparently my timing is absolutely terrible today. Mines, that's what I'm after. The mines are really helpful in this level. Just because of the way it's set up and everything. I probably should be a bit smarter about mine usage than this, but this will work. Again, creating depth by having uh, by having those uh, images lie over top of other images. Ugh! Okay, we, we're gonna mine you. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Because you can't actually shoot to death those little, the little green slimies. Um, you have to mine them or grenade them or use plasma bolts. And some of that stuff's in short supply. jumping over you. These guys have a bit of a hitbox to them, which I'm not a fan of, but... They move at different speeds, too, I think, because notice how, you know, they're overtaking each other, but it's kind of random. And then one falls behind the other. Oh, there's three of them. All three of you in there at once. Uh, I'll take two, though. Save a grenade for my trouble. That's a lot harder to jump over them down here, so... I have an idea of... Oh! Oh! No, 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 not what I want to do. Did I get him? I got him. Okay. to bite the farm, uh, bite the bullet there. By the farm. Whatever the term is. Like... Oh, free life. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they don't take as many bullets as I thought they did.
cleared the way to the first aid kit if I need it. Oh, I do need that. I didn't know that was down here. That item's important if anybody's keeping track. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have done that. All right, if I come across another one, I'm gonna double back and climb the ladder. Oh! Uh oh. Okay, so you gotta reload this weapon too. That's interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah, I said that's what I was gonna do, so that's what I'm gonna do. Get him on the other side. I only have one mine left, and I... I want to be really sure that I need to put it down before I put it down anywhere. So we'll just wait for him to crawl away. green thing spit slime on me. I just know I'll dissolve or something, right? Jeez, take a Valium or something. You look alright to me. That kind of dates it. I don't think anybody calls it Valium anymore. It's Ativan, is it not? Uh... Yeah, I'll take it. Actually, I'm not. Ooh. I'm actually not doing as badly as I thought this time. Or as, thought, as I thought I would, rather. But the next level has a few challenges, so I'd like to make sure that I get to it with as much health as possible which could mean the really boring job of waiting for these things to crawl back and climbing the ladder and then going back after they leave. And that's precisely what it looks like. Yeah, that's what's happening. Cool. Oh wait, I have grenades, I can do this? Nice. Ah, oh, just enough to get through. I can live with that. Ah. Oh. Those blue guys are annoying, more so than the purple guys. I could kill him, but I can't think of any reason I would have to ever go back there. There's nothing hidden here, but there is something hidden ahead that's kind of interesting. I'm going to wait for just the whole monster parade to go by here. Like... Oh! Okay. I guess I should have expected him to come back. Oh, now he's leaving again? I guess I have to kill him. Like, I don't want to. Like, I'd rather save the boy. Because I'm okay. Oh, I'm not okay! I did not want to kill him. Alright, let's... Let's try to plan this a bit here. Oh, yes. That's the good stuff right there. I'm 
a lot more concerned about the big green monsters than I should be, really. This is annoying. I will probably die going across and back, because there's not only these spikes that will hurt you and the collision's a bit wonky, but there's slimes crawling all over this thing too. It's just downright annoying. I'm surprised I took no damage doing that. That is the gem I was talking about. Wow, only one on the way back. I, I can live with that. I don't think he's going to let me through, so I'm going to have to kill him. Ah! Nice. I don't think there's anything up there I need to... There is. I will wait until I need to collect the first aid kit. Uh, let's drop a mine for you. I think there's actually another batch of mines further ahead, although I could be wrong about that. Oop. Really? I think one mine is enough to take him out. Yep. Good stuff. Oh, that stupid thing's gonna trigger the mine! Why did he do that? That mine was mine, not his! Dumbest joke ever. <laughs> It's kind of boring watching this happen this way, but I need to be fairly careful about oh, okay. Oh, come on, get back up there. Yeah, that did it. <laughs> when you see jibbing coming in from off screen, you know you got it. But he can't outrun an explosion. Ooh. Missing keys for this? I don't know why the one spike is there, it just seems really out of place to me. See, that is the password. Uh, dark, light, green, pink, red. I'm not going to remember that, so I'm just going to come back here later when I'm ready. That one was important. I needed that item. Blue things are a pain. And he's just gonna come back if I jump down there. Like. Let's see. Alright, he's done. More spikes that are fairly short, pointless. Oh no, not that stupid blue monster! I hate those things! Maybe they are the biggest annoyances in the game. You can't absolutely kill people through. Well, no, they're not people, but you can absolutely kill monsters through force fields. In this game, I don't think you can kill people at all.
Really? Oh, of course he got me. Toxic waste barrels? I'm sure that is the proper Wemyss symbol for those. <laughs> die at this point in the level. Ah, oh, the keys are down there. Okay. Well, now we'll grab the first aid kit. Uh, I think it's going to come in handy at this point. Oops, I did not mean to shoot there. Uh, you are a nuisance. I just got the first aid kit. Mm. Alright, I got an idea. We'll, we'll circle back and come around the other way. Take that invincibility now. Because we will need it to easily dispatch that dude. And then I, I think the rest of the level is gravy from here on out. That item might have been more useful earlier, but yeah, it, it, it's, it's never useless. It's not like having it prevents you from doing something else. Uh, we don't want to pick up the first aid kit yet. We really don't. I really don't want to pick up that one either, but I don't think there's a way around it. I think you have to pick it up. If you can get up there, anyway. Do we have any keys? I have one. Yeah. You have to pick up that first aid kit. I don't like it when they place it somewhere you have to pick it up. And... Thank you, Mr. Logan. I can't wait to get home and take a nice hot bath. I've been locked in here for days waiting for someone to show up and get me out of here. Um, well, I hate to tell you the one to give you the news, but there are no houses left in this entire city. Sorry. I like how he apologizes, as if he personally destroyed the city. Alright, now we'll go and get the color code. Dark, light, green, pink, red. 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 So dark, light, green, pink, red. Ooh. Look at all those points. Uh, 
The next extra life is at 640,000 points. So we've got a ways to go to get another one, but I already have nine, so I, I can't really complain. Look at that nasty trap, though. Two of those slime monsters and a bunch of spikes. Now we go to where else? But the secret level. Uh, how secretive is this level when there's a bright flashing sign in red light that points the way and there's a head in that jar that's kind of cool uh this level's probably my least favorite of the secret levels there's a lot of extra lives There's eight from those, and I think I think there might be enough that in most cases at least you'll get the gem, uh, gems to give you the ninth life. But loading Skullman, uh, Skullman is a boss, and he tends to lag DOS box. I don't know why. I don't expect to do well because I always take a ton of damage from him. They give you first aid kit before you face them, which is generous. So certainly don't have to do that. I don't have enough keys. Oh, there's keys down here. That's why. There are some cops here that tried to get rid of him, and uh, he did not work out well for them. So, you'll probably see me die here once, maybe twice. Um... I'm not sure they've ever faced one normal, to be honest. I am Skull Man! I shall kill you and collect your skull as I have with all the others! Prepare to die, sub-creature! Okay, here we go. Was my uh, robo cop, uh, not robo cop, robo buddy. Uh, well, oh, there's another gun over there. That's good, because I'm gonna need it. Oh, I've never actually been on this side of the fight here. And it didn't play through the music. There's, like, victory music here that normally plays. Uh, nope, not this time. Oh, well. I didn't die. I'm kind of surprised, actually. So we'll just do that. I don't normally save scum this game, but I'm going to save scum this time. Uh, did I save it? I don't know if I saved it. I think I saved it. me to do that. There we go. That's better. Oh, hmm. There's something else I need to do to get that shard. Oh, okay. I remember now. Oh, I didn't know there was a first aid kit there. I think I'm supposed to leave that switch off, actually. There we go. I'm not getting those gems. It's just not worth it to me. Oh! I did not know there was a dude over there. Whoops. Oh, and there's one up there, too. Okay. Thank you. 
Well, that's nice. That's what happens when you die. In case you were wondering. Oh, I can. Yeah, I was that close to... Uh, I didn't want to collect that. I was that close to doing him in, though. Alright. So the reason I saved Scum the Level is here. Remember those falling platforms from earlier? They're back! And you get one chance to get this right. Thankfully, I got it right. takes you up here. You do not want to fall off the wrong side of that block. And none of these guys can get you. But you can get them. And it makes the level much easier. As a kid, I could never get to this part of the level. Because you don't actually need to in order to win the level, it's just nice. Um, there's no way back here once you get past up to that, so I may as well grab the plasma bolts now. And look at that destruction. May as well take these, although I think everybody's dead now. And this level's a challenge. But it's action-packed, it's exciting, it's a lot of fun. Oops. Oh, shoot, I didn't think he was going to get me. Uh, I think I'm best off not trying to get him. I'm going to die before I even get to the checkpoint. Cool. I need the guns. I'm glad I have a lot of lives because I need them. Uh, you've killed me twice, so you're you are done. <laughs> you are dying. Ah. Oh. Uh -oh. well, at least he's gonna die. He sounds weird when he dies. Oh. I didn't think- oh. Oh, I'm down to seven lives? Ooh. Okay, I better not mess around. Oh. Gotta get to the checkpoint. There we go. No! Go away. 
Nobody likes you. Got him at least. show i started kicking robotic butt a mile away i love this destruction stuff yeah me too those parachuting robots are a new one on me fun to kill though and yes i knew there was one around here somewhere there's a secret level and this one i think is the most fun of all the secret levels that i've seen in this game and i think i've seen them all but i'm not sure Kill yourself. Ooh. More than once, apparently. Um, yeah, to go back up and get some more stuff, but there's no way to die now. Um, so I will just leave. Uh, 640,000 once to get the next extra life. Oof, I gotta be careful. Luckily, this level isn't too bad. It's a lab entrance. They give you plenty of health. They give you plenty of, uh, oh, okay. I'm going to have to lose one here, yeah, to get that. They give you plenty of weaponry too, which is nice. Because there's plenty of those blue bastards up top. <laughs> Just looking to ruin your day. Wait, I think there's something in here. No. Okay, I thought there was. that way okay I do have regular bullets at least Yells not really liking the whole uh, not really liking the whole uh, background thing going on here. <laughs> Glad this is only in this level. When you can't tell the difference between the enemies and your own grenades. Do I have that stupid shard yet? Oh, I do. Okay. I don't remember picking it up, oddly enough. We can go back and uh, free the prisoner now. Oop, I meant to jump here. Mangle is somewhere in this complex. Be very careful. I've seen him setting up all kinds of traps around here. 
He must be expecting you. Yeah, he knows I'm coming for him, but he's not expecting what I'm going to do to him when I get my hands on him. Now, if you outrun the RoboPal, he'll actually teleport to you, which is kind of cool to see. Not running him again. And he teleports back. Oh, wow. That was enough for them to see me. <laughs> I avoided it all quite nicely there. Couldn't do that again if I tried. Plasma runs better, but the Super Bullets sure come in handy. Uh, okay. I thought there were more Plasma Bolts in this level, but I'm not seeing them. I also don't recall seeing the shards, so maybe I saw them and just walked right by them. Oh. End of the robo pal. Bye. Uh oh. Okay, there we go. We got him. They oddly enough don't seem to mind being shot. Oh, I, mm, I hit this button here. Let's go the other way, because I think there's stuff over here I missed. Ah, that's what we're looking for. I knew that was around here somewhere. Something like that was gonna happen. Greetings, Mr. Logan. You will never stop me. I will toss you. No, that's not right at all. I will kill you and toss your bones to my critters. And then the world will bow to the will of Master Kane and Dr. Mangle. <laughs> yeah, shut up. <laughs> All right, we definitely want to go into the final level before the final boss at full health. So we'll go back and pick this guy up here. Uh, we did get to six lives, so that's kind of nice. The computer core. This level is a pain. <laughs> I mean, you could jump across and just get beamed by one of those and it ruins your whole day. Like that. They don't normally fire up there twice in a row. So I thought, oh, it should be safe now. Nope. Not a chance of that. Uh... I had the funny feeling you would come down here if I waited long enough. Definitely want a beacon. Run away! Run! Oh man. I thought I could. Hmm. Oh well. Oh well. At least he's gone. I should have mined him. Oh, we got a one up though. Yeah, come and get me. those guys so I can avoid it. Now, yeah. 
have to say there comes a time when that is no longer a choice, but... Oh, really? The mines are handy in this level too, so I'm gonna wait to collect those. Uh, I'm not gonna wait to collect that though. His hit points are pretty valuable in this level. Ooh, I wonder if I could lure him along down here so I can mine him. Oh, it looks like I can. I shouldn't get past that one. There we go. That's how that's done. Wish I could pick up the keys. I'll take that. Might need it. Lots of shards in this level. We have a red one and a cyan one, and I think we used a blue one earlier. I want to say. No, oh, no, we did not. We didn't use any shards earlier. I don't know what I was thinking of. Color code. First aid kit that I didn't really want to pick up. There's our blue shard. Come down here, we'll activate the blue shard. We'll get rid of you! didn't get him. Yeah, I got him that time. Ooh, just hear those guys just constantly. Bang, 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 bang. Uh, I really don't want to go back there for that key because I don't think there's any other way up there other than grabbing the first aid kit. get me. Uh, I'm gonna die here anyway. Now, yeah. It fired up three times in a row. Oof. That's brutal. Wow. It's just... This game is wow! It's just really going after me on this. I got an idea. Go too far this way. I'm gonna get shot going that way. I'm gonna share I'm going this way too though. Yep, see, Robopal was useless. Ooh, that wasn't enough. Okay. So ooh. want to do you in. Okay. So this is where the color thing is. That'd be nice. I don't want to do that at all. Uh... Ah. Alright, we'll go up here and get one of the first aid kits. Preferably the one furthest away. I think 
like this one missing? Maybe not. Nope. I just made that up, I guess. One here, I think. Yeah, right here. All right, the color code is this way. I believe. Can I get that key? I don't think I can at this point. No, that that's the one that's blocked by the first aid kit. Yeah, didn't make it. Okay. So light, dark, red, pink, green. Light, dark, red, pink, green. Light, dark, red, pink, green. And just like that, we are in, we have invincibility. So we're going to try to take full advantage of this. Thank God you're here. I know that Dr. Mangle is in the next room waiting for you, but be careful. Not everything is it seems. I think it's a trap. Thanks for the tip, but I've learned the way this creep works. He's not going to get away with this. His luck just ran out. Um, there is a hidden level gem hidden in this level somewhere, but I don't recall where it is offhand. And I almost feel like you need to sacrifice a life to pick it up, and, uh, so yeah. Really not a fan of that idea. With only five lives. Oh, if I could jump up here, that'd be great. There we go. Pick up the stupid first aid kit now. I don't know where it is offhand, which is unfortunate because I really wanted to see that one, but that's, that's fine. All right, another color code. Red, pink, dark, green, light. Red, pink, dark, green, light. Well, 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 here we are, Mr. Logan. It has come down to just you and me. I hope you have enjoyed the little party I've thrown for you today. I hope you've had fun with my little friends, but now I'm afraid it's time for you to die! I can't believe I remembered that. <laughs> honest, I did not expect to remember that. and I owe nothing to that creep Master Kane. I only did this because he promised me wealth and power, and he also said he'd kill me if I didn't help him. So you can see how I might be compelled to create these mutants for him. <laughs> I've gotten what I deserve for my crimes, but you must stop Kane to stop this madness. There's an escape jet through that door. 
I've uploaded navigation coordinates to get you to the next lab. And turn to destroy it to stop the production of the mutant army. But be careful. A deadly computer guards the whole complex. You must then go on and find Kane's secret fortress. Seek him out and destroy him or he will be a plague of destruction to this earth. Goodbye, Snake Loki. And good luck. You'll need it. Snake runs to the hangar bay and flies away in Dr. Mangle's escape jet. Using the warheads already loaded on board, Snake destroys Dr. Mangle's lab and all of his hideous work. Later, Snake lands his escape jet back at CIA headquarters and gives a full debriefing to his superiors. He explains how he was forced to destroy a top secret government installation and how he must set out once again to destroy Master Kane and his evil cohorts. Snake also explains that Dr. Mangle was but a henchman for the real force behind this plan. Master Kane. Two days later, all major countries on Earth receive a satellite message from Kane. If all world governments do not bow to his will within 48 hours, he will release his mutants to destroy everything in their path. It will be destruction such as the Earth has never seen. Snake must use the coordinates Dr. Mangle gave him and destroy the remaining labs before it is too late. Failure means a future of darkness dictated by evil. Hurry! Snake has just two days to stop Master Kane. And that is that. Uh, and this is just the credits. Um, that is how you get through Biomass. Oh, some monsters you will meet in games two and three. Uh, and usually the ending music sounds different from this, so that's a bit weird. Uh, I guess this is just a little demo. Anyhow, uh, if you've made it this far in the video, kudos to you, and thank you so much for watching. Um, I really do appreciate it. Feel free to hit the like and subscribe buttons down below, and feel free to leave a comment as well. I would love to hear what you have to say. As always, keep gaming. Until next time, thank you. Bye.